Hello people, it's me, Admin Nightwing. Um, my name is Joe. So today I'm going to be doing my full review of the 2013 movie called Man of Steel. So Man of Steel, um, directed by directed by Zack Snyder, um, wrote a story told by Christopher Nolan and David Escor, um, screened by David Escoyer and produced by Christopher Nolan and Emma Thomas and Debbie Snyder. So Superman, the Man of Steel movie is a reboot of the Superman franchise and that. This movie was depend depending on of how much money they made and how it did at box office. With all this great success of this movie, um it opened the whole DC shared universe. This is why we're getting Batman v Man Dawn just because of the great success of Man of Steel. This movie made um, 291 million in U.S. box office and worldwide 668 million for the great success in the box office that we are getting, like movies like Batman v Superman: Dawn Justice, Suicide Squad, uh, Wonder Woman movie, Justice League Part One, Shazam, Aquaman, The Flash, and including Justice League Part Two and Cyborg and the Green Lantern reboot. So I think I got all those movies out there in that because of the great success of Man of Steel. So Man of Steel um it stars with Henry Cavill um as Superman, Clark Kent, Amy Adams as Lois Lane, Michael Shannon as General Zod, and Kevin Costner as Jonathan Kent, and Diane Lane as Martha Kent, and Lawrence Fersberg as Perry White, and Russell Crowe as Jarrell. This movie does starts off and um starts off in Krypton, you know. Um and Krypton looks so beautiful for this movie and that and the Krypton they went for was inspired of John Burns Man of Steel. So what 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 you saw in Man of Steel was inspired of the Krypton of John Burns called Man of Steel and that. And Russell Crowe, I'm gonna tell you one thing that Russell Crowe they have fantastic as Jarrell. I really like Russell Crowe as Jarrell in that. And actually, Russell Crowe's Jarrell actually looks like Jarrell from Superman's Secret Origins. If you have ever read Superman's Secret Origins, that he actually has a beard in that. And this, uh, I believe, this um, Jarrell that Russell Crowe, Russell Crowe played as was inspired of Superman's Secret Origins in that. Um, the one thing, the one thing I did like about this movie is the flashbacks. Yes, I do like the flashbacks when Clark Kent was young, especially seeing Jonathan Kent in here too, guiding Clark to become the man he's gonna be coming, the Man of Steel, Superman. And especially, especially the one moment, especially that one moment in one of the flashbacks when he says, "Can I be your son? You are my son." That got me tears. I mean, I almost, I had almost water coming out of my eyes and that. That was like such sadness and that. Too. All the flash was good, especially the tornado thing. I know a lot of people wish that Jonathan Kent died in the comics, like from the hard text, that so they went with the tornado. Except with the tornado, he had, he had a reason why he died. He was protecting Clark. He didn't want Clark to save him that tornado. He wants Clark to wait. And he told him wait because he wants him to wait become the man the people think he's becoming Superman that too. And another thing another thing about how, how, how Clark how Clark was getting bullied and all those things and especially in the flashbacks and you know, how Clark was getting bullied so much and he wanted to punch him and like Jonathan Kent trying to tell him, you know, I know you want to and that I can't remember the words that Jonathan Kent said. He's trying to tell him Clark is doing the right thing and that that's why he can't put it in that. And um, the one, the one, the one flashback, especially about the bus scene, especially how he saved all those people on the bus, I really liked that a lot too. Yeah, another, another, another part of the movie what got me real sad is uh, another part of the movie what got me really, really sad is um, the one part of when 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 Jarrell and his wife uh, Laura send, sending um, Kyle out in space to Earth. And that music with Hans Zimmer was so sad. I mean, I almost, like I said, I almost have tears in that part, that part of the movie too. In that, this movie did have some happy moments, especially and when Clark, when when Clark was working at the bar, 
and they're throwing beer on him and in the in the one the truck drivers came out and he found his truck was total with um those big logs and that i thought that was pretty funny everybody everybody in the theater just laughed very hard and i even laughed pretty hard i did not expect that happening i thought it was some funny moments in the movie too and that um the one thing the one thing the one other thing i like about this movie is the oil rig and that oil rig when he saved those people on the oil rig was so epic that like he pushed his arms like up that was like wow and that that was and that was awesome special effects right there too and that now um what's good another part of the movie is uh when superman know how learned how to fly now i really like this part because this kind of this kind of was inspired from uh um, Superman Birthright. If you have not read Superman Birthright, um, and it's Superman Birthright that Clark knew how to fly, and that and that was kind of borrowed Superman Birthright. How Clark was jumping up and down when he was going through the field, uh, Africa, when he was flying with the animals behind the ground. That was from Superman Birthright, and I'm very happy to use that for Superman Birthright. Even that was a great Superman origin story. I'm very happy to borrow that because I was always wondering, and in in a world that going for like the realistic world and especially how will Superman know how to fly you know how 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 would he know how to fly and that and I really like how he jumped up and down he didn't know how to learn to fly the first time except second time he did I really really like that now now let's get to the big action of the movie um let's talk about the Smallville part I really like the Smallville action Smallville action was very very good Especially when Superman comes out of nowhere, attacks General Zod, and because General Zod is going to kill his his mother, Martha Kent, and he came out of nowhere, and that was some insane action. Took out took out Seven Eleven, and that and that was some awesome action. Especially when Fiora and and and, and, and her bouncer showed up. That was some amazing, amazing action. And I'm not seeing so much amazing action in in. in in one standalone comic movie my whole life from that. Especially in a Superman movie. And the Superman movie's always been lack of good action. I noticed that um ever ever since the Richard Donner film, especially the second one, the second one's good action. Except this movie topped the probably top the best Superman action scenes we ever saw in a Superman movie. Especially this movie called Man of Steel. Like the Smallville fight was epic and great and we finally see Superman throw a punch Finally, in that in that Fiora, Fiora versus Superman fight was just amazing, amazing. It was just all around. This is what I wanted in a Superman movie, and I got it in that. I really like Smallville fight. Smallville fight was great. Now, another thing I like about another another action I like about this movie is when when Superman destroyed the World Engine when he was pulling his arm up and fly through, fly through. The world engine that was great. That was awesome, man. Now the now the final battle of the movie, um, General Zod versus Superman. The final battle, the battle of Metropolis. Now this fight was pretty epic, that and the fight this fight was more inspired of Superman, the Last Son, Krypton. Um, this um the, that's what the fight was inspired by. The versus Zod Superman fight and the General Zod character Michael Shannon played. Was inspired from Superman, the Last Son of Krypton. That especially the battle was inspired from the Last Son of Krypton. That and they did a very good job. And actually, director Zack Snyder did say that this was one of the toughest action scenes he's ever got put in it in, in a movie he's never done before. And he pretty much said this is the best action scenes he's ever done in in, in a movie before. And he delivered. He did a great job in that. And this was my favorite battle. Yes, the Metropolis, the Metropolis um, versus I mean the Metropolis battle of General Zod and Superman was great. I really like it, and that, especially when General Zod takes his armor off, was put the hand gloves on. It's like it's kind of like a boxing match, like a Apollo Creed, Rocky. We'll put the gloves on. Let's get it done in that. And um, I really like that. I really like that. Um, that that I I know some people complain about it was too much destruction. And people got to remember, this was not Superman's fault. This was General Zod's fault. General Zod was the reason that Metropolis was falling apart right crazy in that. And, um, yeah, it was pretty much General Zod's fault, the reason destruction in Metropolis. And it was not Superman's fault. It was General Zod's fault more than anything in that. Um, and the one thing about this movie that a lot of people did criticize is Superman killing General Zod, snapping his neck in that. And people got to recognize that in uh, Range of Superman 
comics, including if you read the Superman um, Chronicles series, that Superman actually killed General Zod. Yeah, he gave him kryptonite, then he died, and that. And um, and people would criticize criticize that because Superman killed General Zod. And Superman actually has a mortal code, and his mortal code is protect 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 human race. And that's always what Superman's mortal code is. He's always protecting humans, and that and that's what he did. He killed General Zod to, to to protect the human race, and that's what he did. And that's what he he warned. Him. He says, "Don't, don't do this. Stop." And General Zod says, "Never." And um, and and Superman warned him. He killed him. Except people got recognized. And, and 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 when he killed General Zod, he cried passion. He he cried. He yelled. He felt so bad because he never ever wanted to kill a person like that again. Except he had no choice in that. So, yes, um, except Superman did save the day. He saved that. He saved that family in that. So, in that, um, all around, um, this was a good movie. Um, it's probably the best Superman movie, the best action Superman movie I ever saw in history. In that, um, my full review score, I get this a solid nine out of ten. It is a nine out of ten. It is a very good Superman movie. It's a great Man of Steel movie. It is a great start of the DC share universe and that um you guys are welcome to put your thoughts put your thoughts and comments below definitely give us your full review score and that in the comment sections below if you guys want to follow us up our geeks facebook our facebook page will be in the link in the description below and you guys are welcome to subscribe to our channel definitely hit that like button and definitely share with your friends and i'll talk guys there bye